In 2 Peter 2, Peter uses brute beasts, talking donkeys, pigs, and then a whole boat full of animals as very important reminders for us. First, the brute beasts are to remind us to beware of false teachers. These are teachers that use the grace of God as an excuse to live in the lust of the flesh. They turn the gospel into money-making schemes. They sell liberty, but they themselves are still slaves to sin and the riches of this world. Now, the talking donkey reminds us of the story of Balaam. Now, he was one of those prophets lured away by riches, and God opened the mouth of his donkey. But listen, God didn't speak through the donkey like some people say. Instead, God allowed the donkey to speak for herself. And if you've ever wondered if your pet has thoughts or feelings, give Numbers 22 a read. It's an interesting conversation. Peter then closes the chapter talking about pigs of all things. He says you can wash a pig, but it will return to the mud. This reminds us not to be a person who hears the command to live holy, but instead returns to filthy living. But right in the middle of the chapter, Peter offers a beautiful promise. He reminds us of Noah and the ark. See, God knows how to protect his own. He knows how to deliver them from temptation and destruction. He knows who belongs to him, who were truly set free from sin and the greed of this world. Today, we can be sure the promise found in verse nine will stand. The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust under punishment for the day of judgment. 